for the year's first fish. What's going on you guys? So we just left a little river. We were hoping to get on some brown trout and some stock rainbows, but the whole entire river, it was stocked about two weeks ago, was just picked dry. The one hole we didn't get to try, we pulled up to it, it was like 10 cars sitting in it. So scratch that idea. We're gonna change directions and we're gonna head up the road here and we're gonna go back to a stream we recently explored. It's a good little brook trout stream, native brook trout stream. So we're gonna go check that out and hopefully we can um, get on a few natives. Maybe I can catch a new PV. We'll get up here and show you guys what we're gonna be using and all that good stuff, but catch you guys there. My boots. I'm a boots, boots, boots. <laughs> oh, guys, that wind up here in the mountain is just piercing. I think it, the gusts were 25 miles an hour, 27 miles an hour, something like that. Go blow me away. All right, here we go. And um, there's a lot of little holes I want to try today. And I'm going to be starting off with the yellow trout magnet. Of course, it's the neon yellow to be exact. And Maddie's got this little white. I don't know. I don't know if it's power bait. We actually found it laying the last trout stream. So we'll see how it goes. Beautiful. I love this place. It's one of my favorite places to be. All right, let's keep it pushing. We're just gonna be trying all these little holes. You had a bite, didn't you? I saw it. I did too. Did you have it? He definitely bit you. A hundred percent. Once you miss your opportunity with these little ones, that's like it. It's okay. I guess there's hope going forward. All right, we're gonna walk on up and just keep on stopping at each little hole we come across. And um, hopefully we'll have some luck. All right, there's lots of little holes right there. Maddie's gonna hit them while I go up here and search for my own so I don't crowd her. Ew, my hair. That tree literally just pulled my hair. Keep walking up this way. Look how beautiful though. Let's just take a moment to appreciate this. Wow, what a scenery. Oh, that rock is slick. And I do not wanna fall into the water on a day this cold. I don't ever want to fall in, but especially on a day this cold. Maybe in the summer. And right, here's a little hole right here that is, should definitely have some fish in it. Oh, I think that was a bite, guys. I don't know though. It definitely felt like one. It's about right here. Yeah, that's that's gotta be a bite. Yeah, that's a bite. My butt. You okay? I didn't even hear you fall or nothing. I just happened to look over to check on you and you were on your ass. Going up this way. Hopefully we can catch some fish. She's probably gonna spend a little time at this hole because we know they're in there. She did hook or got bit by something she said felt very big one day. I'm gonna try right here. Can't feel my fingers. It's definitely much colder than it was the last time we were here. And I'm snagged. I saw it happen. All right, there we go. We're gonna find fish. Just gonna take some work today. Ooh, that wind will cut right through you. 
no joke. This is where it gets a little tricky. I guess there could be something in here. I really don't know. Make a cast and find out. If it was, it would probably be hiding up underneath that rock. Feel him, he's so little. Got one. He's so tiny, I didn't even know he was on. You want to put him here? Yeah, let's get the little hook out oh, of him he's too. So little baby. Cutie. A little doll baby. He's so cute. First fish of 2024 was my PB smallest native brook. And he swam off happy and healthy, and we couldn't ask for a better moment. You know, I mean, I guess I could ask for like a 10 pounder or something, but <laughs> that was, that was nice. First catch on the pole, first trout on the net and first fish of 2024, guys. Nice, pretty happy with that. Oh my God, not happy with that though. That's gonna take some time to fix. Did your bobber go under and you're like, it's on. I didn't even know he was on until I went to like pull in. I was like, oh, oh. I know, I looked up and you had the tiniest fish in your hand. Beautiful fish. Guys, by no means are they um, the biggest fish, especially these natives. Now, if you go to a place where they're stocked, they get a lot bigger. But here, if you catch one that's 10 inches, that's a nice fish. If you catch one 12 to 14 inches, that's like considered the catch of a lifetime. So that one was a tiny one, no doubt, but they do not get very big. Yeah, he was like just born newborn but still a very exciting catch y'all look at that cabin up there in the middle of the woods there's not even a road or um driveway or anything that leads to it it's kind of creepy for real isn't that like a whole movie cabin in the woods yeah and here we are <sighs> but anyways we're gonna keep it pushing and um check out some other holes i'm sure there's some more tinies up in here i want a new pb i want to Honestly, I would love to catch a 10-incher, but I doubt that's going to happen. Like I said, that's considered a very nice native brook around here. If you catch a 12-incher, you pretty much caught a fish of a lifetime. At least catch one that's like six inches. We can hope for that, right? First fish, it's 2024. Now you got to get yours. Please be careful. I'm just going to go over this way, guys. I don't think going down is necessary yet. But we're about to find out if I'm wrong. Hold on, I'll help you. I got an idea. Ray saved the day. Oh god. Ah. Get on that rock. Uh. Uh. Thank you. We ain't gonna lose a bait today. I don't know how I'm gonna get up. <laughs> Probably would have been worth it to just lose that, but... <laughs> We're determined. That's our last phone bobber too, so. Now I gotta get back without falling. And guys, be very careful if you do stuff like this. Honestly, don't, because you could easily fall. It's dangerous. And these shoes are not um, made for stuff like this. Gotta figure out how I'm gonna get across. I don't know how slick it is right here. All right, cool. We did it. Mountain climbing 101, right? The first lesson is don't do what we do. Help her. Just up right here. Hold on, I'm coming to help you. It's a lot easier that way. Yeah. Okay. We did it. 
brisket for the biscuit. No. I spent my whole time here helping you, which I wouldn't want it any other way because I knew she'd help me. I want to get over there where that log is at, I'm trying to find my best way across. Come here. Do you see where that log is at? Yeah. We need to find a way over there. Honestly, I think I'm just going to go straight across these rocks. Where's my stick? I don't even remember which stick was mine. Probably bring this with us. We can do it. Maddie found a way. Be careful. It ain't worth it if you can't do it. It is not worth falling in the water over, ever. Not in this temperature. Okay, cool. That was almost bad. Is it even worth it? No. Okay, let's go back, guys. That that was like so close to being bad. Oh my god. So close to being bad. In these Amish church going boots. Give me my stick. Give me my stick. It almost feels like a storm is coming. It got cloudy and really cold all of a sudden. We're feeling some raindrops, guys. Honestly, it's probably cold enough to snow up here. Last time we were here, I went. Hopefully, we still have that footage. And I got to find out what's at the top of the waterfall. But this is what it looks like. Just endless waterfalls. It goes all the way up the mountain. And you can't see up there, but it just continues to go. I do believe we were right when we called the waterfall the end of the road. It's definitely the end of the road. Look how far down they are, guys. That's a long fall to the bottom. Maddie! Um, I'm gonna jump to that and come down that way. <laughs> guys, I would literally die. I'm kidding. I am not that brave. That was funny. All right, getting down is gonna be very interesting. Mike, Mike starts snowing on us. That wind, though, it might start turning to a blizzard okay. if it starts snowing. That tree fell onto this tree. Yep. She's like, get off me, fat yeah. <laughs> What a workout. We made it to the waterfall, though. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'll wait for you. The net. Maddie's tail got caught. back down I guess and uh fish our way out of here um I think Maddie's pretty bummed out she was really hoping to get her first fish of 2024 today it's just been really rough but it's not over yet and I know she can make it happen it's like I don't even know guys I'm coming through a jungle I don't want to tear these trees up though just trying to like not break any branches or anything see these little natives that's one of the reasons why they thrive so well in these mountain streams is because of the tree coverage it helps to keep the streams cooler casting shade on them in the summer months so they're very important just maneuver my way through them and try not to cause them any damage all these trees some of them have some growing to do but they will y'all look at this though what i just noticed let me get my walking stick first Y'all see this tree right here? That is actually its root and it goes up and it turns into two other trees. See that? I don't know, I just thought that was pretty cool. So let's keep going. Catch up with Maddie. How the hell does she get over all this? I need to go up. Ooh, child, we done did that part. We're gonna do this part two. You sit there. Here we go. <laughs> oh, my stick broke. So like, carry yourself up this hill. Here I come with my Amish boots. Shiny Amish boots. Oh, I the ball of my Amish boots. Are you a good stick? No. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to use this as a walking stick. Hey, that part might. Oh, no, it ain't. Okay. Never mind. Never mind on that. 
Ow, my ankle. I mean, my wrist. Yeah. Wow, look at that red mushroom. The quest for the year's first fish. Ray has checked off the list. Maddie's still, um, we gotta get her one. And she's gonna get one right here, right now. I'm gonna walk down some. Got one. Holy sh! That's a big one. Barely hooked. That's a mecca. PB. It's a nice one. What a beautiful fish. Very nice. Y'all, that is what we come for right there. What a way to start the year off. Incredible. Guys, Maddie finally caught her first fish of 2024. And this is our a very nice brook. That was the one we come for. And it's crazy. I was just telling you guys that uh, if you would, were to catch one of 10 inches, that's a really nice fish. And I would say if it wasn't 10 inches, it was really close. Yeah. Couldn't ask for this trip to go any better other than to catch 10 more of those. Yeah. Oh yeah, we definitely should have, but we, we love these fish. We're so um, cautious about keeping them in the water, trying to handle them with care and trying to release them quickly. I didn't even touch them. I didn't touch it. We didn't really take time to measure it. That's okay though. Keeping the fish healthy is our top priority. So, all right, let's, uh, let's keep fishing. It just started sleeting. It looks like a little bit of snow mixed in with it. A few flakes here and there, but it's not coming down super hard or anything. So we're gonna keep fishing. That was my biggest native brook that I've ever caught on the yellow trout magnet. That is so sick. That was like one of the missions today to catch a new PB and along came Maddie and caught a new PB. Definitely not big if you're looking for a big fight, but man, for their size, they're just very aggressive. Let's walk up here just a little bit so we can get access to this little nook. Ray, I had a bite. I missed. Probably won't bite again. My bobber. Use the net, get it. It keeps getting sucked back up. <laughs> her bobber's like caught up in the little um, eddy instead of floating down to her. Let me go help her. This is taking entirely too long. How'd your bobber come off? Oh my God. What the f We're gonna get it. Let me think, let me think. No. This is taking way too long. All right, guys, helped Maddie catch her bobber and went rogue and broke free off of her line and got caught in like a little, I don't even know, like the little things that go around and around and had to break it out of its routine of going around and around. Like it was trapped in a continuously flushing commode. I'm not even gonna lie, it's been a struggle bus for us. We're out here, it started sleeting, a few little snow flurries here and there, but we have uh, buckled down and tried our hardest and we've not given up. And so far we've managed to scrape up three fish on our first fishing trip of the year 2024. Is it sleeting again? It sure is. It's that cold, guys, that it's not raining on us. It's sleeting on and off. Little ice pellets bouncing. You guys hear it? Just sleeting. She just caught the tiniest one ever. Let's go down here and look at it. Yo, oh my God. <laughs> he's so small, he's like a fingerling. Literally. I can't even. He's like little, like, almost the size of my pinky. He's so cute. Yeah, he is. That might've been the smallest trout in the stream. He was a fingerling. I caught his mama a few feet up.
is absolutely beautiful, but it's icing out here. We're freezing. I can't feel my whole face. I think my nose fell off like hours ago. But our first fishing trip of 2024 was just incredible. You know, we didn't catch a whole lot of fish, but what we did do is enjoy a beautiful outing. We had a blast, so that's what's important.